Hey YouTube, how you doing? So my semester started a few weeks ago. I wasn't so productive at the start of the semester because maybe of the new timetable or the confusion or just the new semester hype, you know. Well, I came across these few techniques and tips that I put into practice for the past two weeks. But they have been so productive that I have a test tomorrow but I'm able to record this video today, edit and upload it for you guys. So if this was so efficient for me, then I'm sure it will be really very efficient for you. So let me show you how to start this semester right. The first step is to set your timetable right. It is very crucial to get all the timetable of all the respective subjects that you are going to take up this semester. Not only it familiarizes you with the subjects that you are going to learn, but it also makes a layer of what all things that you are going to learn and make sure that you note down all the classroom or the lab numbers beneath the lectures and the practical times because that way you will always be on time and never get late for a class while searching for it. Second tip is to get the layout of the important dates. You can find these dates on your school, college or university website. You can take out a printout of these dates or you can forward these dates to your Google Calendar. I really stress out on this tip because it gives a mental shift to your brain that these are the events that you will be having in this academic year. Not only that, it also gives you the dates for your assignment. It also gives you the deadline of the projects, the upcoming tests so that you won't be surprised anymore if you have a test tomorrow or you are approaching a deadline even though the examination or the assignment dates are tentative the public holiday dates will always be fixed so that you can pre-plan your day before uh, with extracurricular activities codes or other projects that you are interested in keeping these two steps in your mind I will let you know why this is very important to pre-plan your dates or at least know your timetable because there is this famous quote by W. Somerset. He said that I would sooner read a timetable or a catalogue than nothing at all. They are much more entertaining than half the novels that are written. It means that you are already halfway through the SEM by achieving these two important points from this video. There is purpose and planning. The third tip is to know about your professors. You can go a day before your college starts or on the first day of your semester. You can go to your respective subject professors and familiarize yourself with them. Also make sure that you get their seating areas, also their availability time. That way you can merge your timetable and the availability of your professors in this Google Calendar that I was inspired by Thomas. Fourth tip is to get your syllabus for all the respective subjects. It will help you to know all the concepts and the topics that will be covered in your class so that you don't make a blank face when a topic has been taught in your class. The first step is to get all your materials and the books. For getting your books, you can go and ask your seniors or you can ask your friend who is a senior uh, who has studied the same course to lend you the books for the semester or the academy. But if you're going to a school which has predefined books, then do not wait for anything. I suggest you to go and buy the books on the first day itself. But if you are in college or a university which does not have specific set of books uh, and you have to use reference books and stuff like that, then I would recommend you to wait for a week and go through your library and see which books interest you a lot and which are really compatible to you. See which author and which book suits you the best and in the next week make sure you go and buy those books there are few study material hacks I would like to share with you the first one is that you can go online and buy the used books which are like half the prices maybe or at least cheaper than the original price of the book I think there is a section on Amazon as well as eBay for the used books section all set that's all these are the five tips that you need to put into practice because knowing something is different, putting that into practice is different. I will give you a live example. As I told you before, I have put this technique into practice for the past two weeks. I have done something incredible in this phase that is I have studied for a test so seriously that I haven't done in 18 months and obviously I nailed it. These tips really helped me in improving my creativity, productivity and brought awareness about the events and I really hope that you can put them into practice and get the same results as well. So don't be lazy and keep up the same hype until the end of the semester. And if you have any start of semester tips then do comment it below. I will have a look at them and I might as well include them in my next video. 
who knows if you haven't subscribed to my channel then make sure you subscribe because i will be uploading new videos every single week and i will be sharing out my secret study tips with you there are other videos like where i will show you how to make a study timetable other study hacks to improve your overall performance in the academic year the pomodoro technique which has been proven very useful while studying and it is really efficient i have put that into practice that's how i nailed the test as well and the study with me section as well and so on so i'll see you next time until then adios